Hi guys, my name is Daksha and my metric number is 15185091. Uh, today I would like to talk to you about um, the concept of spectrophotometry and it is a quantitative measure of the reflectance, absorbance and transmittance of a certain material. Um, it is measured using um, photometers and it is measured in terms of wavelength. Um, and it's considered to be more specific than electromagnetic spectroscopy, which used to be used in labs um, a very long time ago. Um, this quantitative measure, as mentioned um, previously, is, uh, use, uses photometers um, that measures a light beam's intensity as a function of its wavelength um, and hence its color. Um, these spectrophotometers uses either visible light or UV um, to measure the absorbance of a solution. Um, in our lab, we will be using um, standard solutions with known concentrations to plot a standard curve graph uh, which would then enable us to figure out the concentration of our test solutions. Um, the absorbance level of each standard solution is plotted as mentioned above to form a standard curve graph um, and this graph is then used to measure the concentration of an unknown test sample. Um, a spectrophotometer is a digital um, measurement of uh, the absorbance of a material uh, and it would try to minimize the reflectance and the transmittance of a material as it's considered to be an error and the absorbance level of the material depends on the intensity of the material to absorb light so a color um, a material that is more um, that has a higher absorbance value would then be able to absorb more light and hence would um, very little light would pass through the cuvette. So whatever material that has to be absorbed needs to be put into a cuvette that then goes into the machine and um, the machine would chew up a value that says um, that has the absorbance value. This absorbance value is then um, uh, recorded and uh, uh, is compared to the standard graph that we have plotted using known standard um, uh, samples. Um, from this, we can find out the concentration, not only the concentration, but also the amount of a certain material in a sample. Um, and it can be used in various different fields. It's used in forensic medicine. It's used in general chemistry analysis. It's also used in biological lab. It acts as a fingerprinting device um, for many materials, as it can tell you um, not only the specific amount of that material, but if that material is present in a solution. Um, and so it is a very um, up-to-date uh, new uh, quantitative measurement of a material's concentration amount um, by using the three values, which is the absorbance, transmittance, and reflectance properties of a spectrophotometer. Thank you!